Hello students, Thompson DMA. So the issue with DMA is that issue uh, DMA can send data or receive directly from IO, but the issue with here is that system bus because we have shared system bus that is use uh, uh, CPU is also you using. Moreover, CPU has higher priority as far as system bus use is concerned. Okay. So now we'll see modes in DMA to resolve this issue of system bus. Will uh, there are three modes in DMA? So first, let us see burst mode. What is burst mode? In burst mode, uh, let us understand ninety five percent of the time CPU do not use system bus because CPU executes the instructions. So what is the instruction and what is the uh, how the instructions are? Uh, being executed let's see uh, so first instruction uh, will be fetched from the memory so uh, uh, CPU needs system bus to fetch the instruction from memory but most of the time the instruction CPU gets the instruction in cache memory 90% 5% of the time CPU gets the uh, instruction from cache memory so there is no need to uh, retrieve, uh, use the system bus by the CPU next decode so once the instruction has fetched the CPU do not need a memory access. So with instruction, fast instruction that will be stored in register will be used, uh, uh, will be decoded and accordingly executed. Whatever decodes will be executed. Then uh, the role of memory again come to store to store the result, to write the results. Okay. So this is the thing. Okay. So uh, we can understand 95 percent of the time. See, there is no need to write. Uh, or there is no need to uh, use uh, the system bus by the CPU only the issue of 5% we have reached this 90% because of this DMA uh, also because DMS is independently ha handling most of the uh, data transfer between IO and memory so uh, it will easy, easy the work of CPU so this is also the thing here now let's see so this is the instruction cycle now what is burst mode 95 percent there is no issue if cpu uh, if uh, uh, data transfer huge data transfer between io and memory there is 95 percent there is no issue uh, if cpu wants to uh, transfer to 04 2408 byte from here to there it can do in 95 percent in the case can come uh, uh, when five percent and it sends the data so cpu has to wait so this is the issue with the uh, burst mode so if uh, once uh, memory has uh, uh, taken the bus system bus and uh, cpu has to wait however cpu has a higher priority but uh, whenever uh, the bus is free cpu request cpu uses it at higher priority okay because cpu is superior memory is inferior if we consider both the things so this is this has happened in, in bus bus mode now let us see cycle scaling mode so whenever we have a few data like one byte suppose one byte uh, is reading from io to memory or writing memory to io so this is the case when cycle scaling mode is being used so cycle scaling mode is like that it is uh, every operation in uh, computers or cpu are hap happen happens uh, in clock cycle in one slow clock cycle each operation or every operation every micro operation happens in one clock cycle so uh, if uh, this this is clock cycle one first this is second this is third this is fourth suppose cpu is uh, using this cycle in another using this cycle so it will not be available for dma so uh, one byte can be transferred in this cycle by the dma next cpu can transfer so it will not uh, be available so uh, so uh, dma will use another cycle so alternate in alternate cycle the uh, data transfer can be done or the system bus can be used by cpu and memory this is the thing now what happens suppose first cycle is uh, used by the cpu such so could not use uh, dma could not use second it has used but in third cycle cpu do not need this uh, any operation on memory or using this use of system bus so what will happen this uh, this is a cycle scaling mode okay it is very obvious from its name so this cycle will also be taken by dm so this is things that happens like that in this uh, cycle scaling mode okay now let us see transparent mode transparent mode and what happens in transparent mode as i have told you cpu uh, and memory uh, between cpu and memory cpu is superior and memory is inferior 
if we consider these two things so what happens in transfer mode in transfer mode if uh, cpu uses the mm -hmm. uses the cpu uses the this system bus this is a system bus if cpu is uses that system we are using this system bus uh, memory will uh, wait okay so uh, how long memory will uh, wait memory will check whenever uh, cpu release the bus when this memory will use that bus so uh, how it is this transfer frame make mo uh, mode works it like this like that suppose this is a time scale suppose cpu is uh, using the bus then it want to use uh, memory will not use the bus okay so whenever a uh, bus is free suppose that time bus is free the memory dma will access uh, to that uh, system bus and transfer for transferring data from io to memory either io to memory or memory to io so this is the thing so what is transparent mode transparent mean mode what happens whenever cpu is not using the system bus in that period only uh, dma uses that system bus so this is the thing with this uh, transparent mode so we have uh, that is all about the data, um, 